Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be solving an exponential equation. I know some of you already guessed the answer, but let's go ahead and take a deeper look. So we have 1 over 3 to the power x plus 1 over 5 to the power x equals 34. First of all, I want you to note that 34 can be written as sum of two squares, which is 25 plus 9. And the 25 happens to be 5 squared and 9 happens to be 3 squared. So 34 can be written as 5 squared plus 3 squared. And our bases are 1 third and 1 fifth. So that should give you an idea. Hmm, interesting. Now we can now write our equation as 3 to the power negative x plus 5 to the power negative x equals 3 squared plus 5 squared. By comparing the corresponding terms, we notice that, appear surprised, we notice that x equals negative 2 works. Yay! Because negative negative 2 is positive 2. Great. But is that the only solution? Maybe. Let's go ahead and check it out. I want you to notice the following. f of x equals 1 over 3 to the power x and g of x equals 1 over 5 to the power x are both decreasing functions. Why are they decreasing? Because if you have b to the power x, uh, it's decreasing if b is between 0 and 1. So if you have a fraction that is like a common fraction, which is not improper or mixed number, of course you want it to be positive as well, but anyways, uh, our function is going to be, you don't want a negative base, that's going to be problematic. So this function is going to be decreasing. Obviously, as you raise one third and one fifth to higher and higher powers, you're going to get smaller and smaller numbers. Great, so we have two decreasing functions and they're being added. So their sum is also going to be decreasing. So we can safely say that the sum of two decreasing functions is decreasing. And e the proof is easy. If f and g are both decreasing, and you can derivative, you can differentiate the sum. That's going to give you the sum of the derivatives, which is also negative because f prime and g prime are both negative because f and g are decreasing. All right. So we have a decreasing function that intersects a horizontal line. Therefore, there's only going to be one intersection point. Okay. This might be one of the shortest videos, hopefully if I can get it done. So x equals negative 2 happens to be the only solution. I just want to introduce a real quick second approach, not necessarily like a different approach, but you could also consider as, you know, this equation and kind of look at it from a different perspective. This is a decreasing function and this is an increasing function because it's uh, a decreasing function is being subtracted from a constant, therefore it's increasing. And a decreasing function and an increasing function all, all always going to be intersecting at one point. And this brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you tomorrow with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.